Why would I do this? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Did you hate Twitter.com? Well, lucky you. Welcome to X, baby. Boom. Twitter is now X.com. In fact, x.com redirects to twitcher.com. Boom, shaka, laka. What is this all about? What is happening? And who is screaming at the top of their lungs about it? You know who. <laughs> bye bye, Birdie. Elon Musk officially rebrands Twitter to X blasting new logo onto the side of the firm's San Francisco headquarters and saying that he's going to bring a blowtorch to the old Twitter logo and the old Twitter name. It's on the side of the building, right? Ooh, baby, the world's richest man promises the platform will become a banking and messaging app. How cool is that? Founded in 2006, Twitter initially took its name from the sounds of birds tweeting. Elon Musk has now changed the profile picture of the company's new logo, X. The company's new logo was even projected on the building in San Francisco. You can see here, X marks the spot at the building. This guy taking his life into his own hands, being outside in San Francisco with a you know mobile device that could be stolen from him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got X. And there it is. That's that that is Twitter.com now. Elon Musk is officially rebranded and he has killed the bird forever. Now, some people are saying this is a bad idea, some people are saying this is a good idea. Let's talk through it. Here's Elon Musk's account, and this is the new uh, video that's been posted. The X video. Very glitchy, funny little video. Elon Musk has changed his account to X. This is now the logo. This is now Elon Musk's profile image and X.com. You can click on it here, redirects to twitter.com, which has changed its logo. This used to be the little birdie up here, and now it is x.com, which redirects to Twitter. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is this all about? Here's the uh, headquarters. I had x projected on it. What's going on here? <laughs> Elon Musk tweeting, not sure what subtle clues ever gave it away, but I like the letter x. <laughs> Elon Musk. Uh which seems to be a somewhat older photo maybe of him, Tesla and X, the letter X. Not even that, not even like the, the launch of Tesla was uh, where the X started. The X actually started back in 1999, before the new millennia. Elon Musk talking about how obsessed he is with X. Check this out. TM, what we're gonna do is transform the traditional banking industry. Yeah, I do not fit the picture of a banker. X.com. Raising $50 million is a matter of making a series of phone calls, and the money is there. I've sunk the great majority of, of my net worth into X.com, which is the new banking and mutual funds company on the internet that I've started. Yeah. Big, big X. Exactly. X.com. I think X.com could absolutely be a, a multi billion dollar bonanza because if you look at the industry that X is pursuing, it's the biggest sector of the world economy. So he's talking about how big the financial sector is. Elon Musk, of course, understands that. Elon Musk has built some of the most successful companies on planet Earth. Tesla, arguably the most successful dollar per dollar company on planet Earth. And now every single electric car company has to go off a Tesla charger. The man is going to print it. Uh, the boring company, SpaceX. Ooh, SpaceX. There it is again. Elon Musk has been obsessed with X. And when Elon Musk bought Twitter, it's not like he's been hiding the fact that he wants to use it as an accelerant for the X app, which is the everything app, a messaging app, a payment processing app. And he needed to buy an existing user base. And the one that was the most for sale and available was Twitter.com. And that is why Twitter.com's page is now X. Now it is X. At Twitter is now X. OK, well, there you go. Uh, X.com is uh, now being repped by Linda Yaccarino, who is the CEO of X.com. She is the person that was uh, sort of brought over by Elon Musk from the corporate media world to continue the advertising base on X.com. Very cool, actually. Linda Yaccarino uh, has her little X by her name. There you go. It's an exceptionally rare thing, she says, in life or business that you get a second chance to make another big impression. Twitter made one massive impression and changed the way we communicate. Now X will go further in transforming the global town square. <laughs> That's the, uh, of course, the, the, the corporatese way of saying it. Here is the uh, Sesame Street way of saying it. The latter X will be holding a press conference later today in Sesame Street. You, you, 
you get woke Sesame Street gets a retweet from me on that one. You can, of course, see on desktop now that it is X.com. This has officially been done. Here's the new logo with the X on the login page. So you can see the old bird has been painted over by the new X in a graffiti style. As ever, Cernovich has the best take on all of this. And I am in total agreement on this. Cernovich just nails it as he ever does on this sort of explanation as to why this branding change is very smart. Some people say you're throwing away two decades of good branding with Twitter. You're stupid. How dare you? Here's what Cerno says. X is Twitter rebranding is coming. It's jarring to some. Consider this. Two plus decades ago, Elon started a payment company with a bizarre and impossible idea. What if people could pay each other via email? Today, we consider this obvious, yet PayPal, which X merged into, struggled to gain customers. They were even giving new users 25 bucks affiliate cash to sign up their friends. Twitter is the past. It started off as a podcasting service. Isn't that interesting? And then they learned that podcasting uh, needed to be pivoted from. So Twitter became a sort of way to issue press releases from celebrities. Early innovators like Shaq saw the value and realized that he could super connect with fans. Five Lakers tickets if you can meet me at this corner. Go. Dana White and other UFC used the model as well to great success. Unfortunately, the left and the regime propagandist, like they do with every popular thing, leaned in and then learned that Twitter was a way to create narratives, including false ones like Russiagate or organized riots like they did in Ferguson. Some of us saw Periscope and its connection to Twitter as the preeminent way to capture streams live news. The DNC 2016 coverage was historic. Twitter then let apparatchiks take over. Narrative over truth was a heavy hand. Our beloved bird site became a canary in the coal mine for free speech. X is the future of communication. More than that, group text. X is human consciousness in text form in real time. Twitter is dead long with X. So what, what is this effectively explaining? What, what Cernovich is explaining is that they did so much damage to their old brand that you'll never get it back. And so you got to change it up. So that's what Cerno is explaining. And I think he has makes, of course, a very, very deeply valid point. You wouldn't Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter wouldn't even be necessary if the old regime hadn't effed up enough. Remember, Elon Musk was on the board of the old regime. Elon Musk's friend with friends with Jack Dorsey. Elon Musk could have just affected change from the inside, but it was so corrupt. He needed to just buy the whole thing, shut it down, make it a private company and now change it entirely. And Elon Musk saying he's going to blow torch the bird off the building. Ha! I'm here to live stream that. Meanwhile, over on X.com's competitor, uh, soon to be named Y, uh, Threads is what it's called right now, Taylor Lorenz is uh, bitching about uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg responding to Jordan Peterson, just in case you're wondering uh, how things are going. These people demand nothing less than total ideological conformity. But... The good news is their only real weapon is public shame, and nobody really cares what they have to say anymore. So, L-O-L. Uh, we have now inside looks, breaking literally moments ago, uh, from what Twitter.com looks like inside of the building. You can see the X's are now everywhere. X, X, X are now everywhere. This looks cool. Here are the big screens inside of Twitter.com. You have these giant screens with these uh, the X sort of loop, glitchy X loop, spinning around, around, around. So there you go, baby. What do you think? What do you think the old X.com? I think, I mean, it's growing on me. Got, got to tell you, I um, have been on Twitter for better part of a decade. And we have almost 2 million followers on Twitter, actually. And so I care a lot about that audience. And um, I care a lot about the brand. And we've had our ups and we've had our downs. But we are winning. And we are so back. So I am nostalgic, I suppose, for the old bird, but why would I argue with Elon Musk on said point? Elon Musk is clearly has a vision for what Twitter could become, and it is a much better vision than some regime state censorship orb to push lies into my face and to deplatform my executive producer, ALX, who you should follow right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitter has become, or X.com, I suppose, I'll have to get used to that, has become, having to, having to learn the new preferred pronouns of, of Twitter, uh, X.com has become the favorite platform for uh, my team to communicate and, and to grow their audiences on. And we've seen some uh, resounding success. 
And so I'm going to lean in. I'm going to put my shoulder to the wheel. I think I'm a big branding guy. So I suppose there is a risk in all this, but there's a risk in everything that Elon Musk is doing right now. He's putting up his own money. He's putting up his own cash. The man can do whatever he wants with the company because it's private. And there's some real value to that. Is Elon Musk trying to save humanity itself by creating the human form of consciousness in our time, x.com? I sure as hell hope so. And we sure as hell hope he succeeds. Join us with Elon Musk to defeat communism with free speech and criticism free thought by subscribing to our channel. God bless you. It's your boy, Benny. See you.